Hello and welcome to this episode of the Leeds Life Blog. Today we'll be looking at the best places in and around the Leeds City Centre to eat, shop and relax. So firstly we're going to start off with one of the more recent developments in Leeds' shopping culture, which is Trinity Leeds. Open on March 21st 2013, the Shopping and Leisure Centre has only been open three years. However, in this relatively short space of time, much of the city's shopping district has been transformed to revolve around this new shopping centre. Inside the complex you can find all sorts of shops, from Top Man to Top Shop, and Lego stores, and even an Everyman Cinema. Next up is Granary Wharf. Located under Leeds City train station, the area has been subject to massive redevelopment over the past few years, including a new train station entrance, which has just been completed this year. The arches which run through Granary Wharf are part of Leeds' famous river system and are a key architectural point amongst the city's history. Also located under the arches beneath the lines of the, for the train station are a number of bars and restaurants. Although tucked around the back of Leeds, these are often very upmarket locations and located right next to the canal district. Amongst this is the Hilton Crabtree Hotel, which at the top features the Sky Lounge Bar. Occasionally you can even find members of the elite up there, including Leeds United and Rhinos Club players. Leading up through Leeds, you can also find a number of great places to eat. Wagamama is just one of the city's varied array of restaurants serving Japanese dishes. It's located next to the well-known restaurant Jamie's, founded by Jamie Oliver and renowned for its world-class food. Leeds also features more typical fast food delicatessens like Subway or even Nando's and McDonald's both of which are located on Brigate. Moving on to the Hedra, there's lots to see and do including the Henry Moore Institute. This art gallery located near the Town Hall is often subject to plenty of exhibitions. This makes it for a very diverse and interesting place to visit as there's usually something different on every time. Further up the Hedra you're greeted by dozens of shops such as Game and Argos as well as the St John's Centre. Inside you can find a selection of stalls Although it's not as up to date as Trinity, it's still definitely worth a visit. Next is Leeds Market. Founded in 1875, the market has a long history of trading in Leeds. The outside stalls are located next to the up and coming Victoria Quarter development. Here you can find everything from DVDs and fruit and veg to second hand clothes and electronics. Extending inside, you can find multiple stalls, including the Butcher's Row, providing fresh meat and fish as well as the very first Marks and Spencer store, which opened back in 1884. To this day, Marks and Spencer still have a shop there, and it's marked by a special M&S clock. Finally, the Corn Exchange. A staple part of Leeds' bustling economy, the Corn Exchange is as relevant now as it's always been. Inside the Corn Exchange's brilliant, almost Zeppelin-like architecture, is a fantastic selection of alternative shops. From burgers to camera equipment and clothing to coffee, everything inside the corn exchanges is very high quality and plentiful in supply. Anyway, that's all we have time for now. Thanks again for watching the Leeds Life blog.